you don't need Biafra. Let's fix our relationship with the North, Rocha Zokrocha says. Former governor of Imo State, Richard Okrocha, has warned supporters of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, saying the state does not need that. He said when the problem of Nigeria is finally solved, Ipo would be nowhere to be found. He said the quick notice given to Igbo was confusing and would bring about crisis between the southeast and the northern regions. While Arewa youths may have acted under pressure situation and making the matter a sensitive one and can bring about crisis between the north and the southeast, he said. For those who do not remember, Southeast and the North have experienced good relationship in the early days of Nigeria. But for some factors, Igbo did not predict the success of Buhari and we missed the period. We need quick healing of this relationship that once existed between the Southeast and the North. Reasonable Nigerians should distance themselves from these comments from the Arewa group and the IPOP. Leaders will teach our youths the right things to do. We shall take responsibilities as leaders to stop this thread and act of hate as that will not be good. If you must fight, fight for economic survival of Igbo people. And other economic plans that will boost the country's economy. This is the only way we will and we can build the nation, says Richard Okoruja. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular matter? How do you feel about this issue that uh, uh, this man has raised? Well guys, it is what it is at the moment and um Richard Zokrocha has come out to say that he has come out to say that um, we, don't, we don't need Biafra that what we need is fixing the relationship with the North do you agree with him and do you think he's speaking the truth well be that as it may according to him you know, he further said that the misunderstanding between the Igbos and the IPOP, sorry, the IPOP and the North, Northern guys is a sensitive one which needs to be fixed. Meaning that the Igbos should fix their relationship with the North instead of agitating and calling for Biafra. Do you guys, do you agree with him? Do you think that is the best? He also said that leaders will teach the youths the right things to do and that we should take responsibilities as leaders to stop this thread and act of hate. So he said reasonable Nigerians should distance themselves from these comments from the Arewa group and the IPOP. He said, but for some factors, Ibos did not predict the success of Buhari and he said that we need quick healing of this relationship that once existed between the Southeast and the North. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular issue? What do you agree? What do you think? Uh, Rochas Okrocha is saying, do you, are you, do you think he's speaking because he, yeah, he's, he has enjoyed the legacy of government money and he's well to do and he's enjoying it himself? That is why he can he's speaking the way he's speaking? Well, I would like to know what you guys think about this particular issue. Uh, the agitation for Biafra seems to be getting stronger and stronger and stronger. But for the recent uh, COVID-19 pandemic, which has actually halted so many things in the country or in all over the world at the moment. So everything is actually on standstill at the moment until after the pandemic, which we believe and expect that should, you know, um, be over anytime soon.
So that is what uh, is happening at the moment. So, the, like, you know, it has been rightly said in some quarters, there's a, there's a serious disunity between the uh, the Igbos. Some part of the Igbos are supporting Nigeria, some are supporting IPOB or the Biafra. So if they do not come together as one, don't you think it's going to be difficult to achieve this aim? Even if it is to achieve Biafra or even if it is to achieve unity with Nigeria. So another question that I would ask is that why is um, Rocha Zokorocha keen about the relationship with the North? What are your reasons or what reasons do you think Okorocha has or is behind the motive of Okorocha's uh, seeking and asking for the relationship of the Southeast and the North to be fixed? And there is something of note that he said that I would like to point out. He said, when the problem of Nigeria is finally solved, IPOB will be nowhere to be found. Okay, does it mean that the problem of Nigeria will be solved? And if the problem of Nigeria will be solved, when will it be solved? Because the challenges has actually been on ground for quite some time. So he has come out to say that when the challenges of Nigerians will be of Nigeria will be solved, IPOB will be nowhere to be found. Guys, what are your thoughts concerning this? Could this really be true? Could this really be real? Could this really be real? That IPOBs will be nowhere to be found. Well, I don't know, but to a large extent, it gives um, you reasons to think as to why would um, Okorocha say something like this? Why would Okorocha say something like this? He said, uh, you know, it's, I'm actually, it's actually worries, worrying. It's actually worrisome, actually. Well, well I don't know. He has, a, he has uh, the right to his opinion. He has the right to actually express himself. But um, IPOP members, what are your thoughts concerning this? Okorocha said, when Nigeria's problem will be solved. So meaning that there is hope and uh, probably there is uh, an underground work to solve the problem of Nigeria. Well, the problem of Nigeria is actually not one. You, we all know the problem of Nigeria. So how do they intend to solve the problem of Nigeria? When will the problem of Nigeria be solved? And who are the people that will solve this problem that Nigeria has? So guys, if he's saying this and that nowhere will be found or no, yes, and uh, uh, IPOP will be nowhere to be found when Nigeria's problem is fixed. It means that there is hope and for Nigeria. He's a senator. He's at the you know helms of power. So probably he has information that we do not have. So does it mean that IPOP guys should relax? Oh, sorry, should relax and uh, you know quit or stop the agitation for Biafra and agree, accept and work with Nigeria? You know, probably that is what he's asking them to do or probably that is the right thing to do or do you guys think that is the right thing to do because there is hope for nigeria according to rochas okrucha and from what he's saying so it is important for us to know where we are heading to and where we are going to there is nothing you know um there is nothing bad if the Nigerian leaders come out to acknowledge the challenges that every region is facing, then outline uh, ways and plans to actually help overcome these challenges and solve the problem of Nigerians. So if they can come out to actually uh, outline these issues and uh, re uh, reassure members of the public that the government is on top of their game to end all the uh, challenges that these uh, regions are facing, then to a very large extent, one will be able to uh, convincingly, you know, speak and ask the IPOB guys to drop their uh, agitation. Well, so far, will the IPOB even listen to drop their agitation? Because they've come this far. That is another thing. Will they actually want to drop their agitation for the state of Biafra? I do not know, and I do not think so. So, looking at the way things are, if Biafra is achieved, will Rocha Zokorocha be a Nigerian or will he be a Biafra? That is another aspect or another thing to another question that needs answers. So guys, be that as it may, what are your thoughts concerning what Rocha Zokorocha has said on this particular issue? What do you think? Do you agree with him? Do you believe what he's saying? And uh, do you think that um, 
uh, Nigeria is going to be better and that the call for the uh, Biafra and the agitation for it should actually cease and the relationship between the North and the uh, uh, and this, uh, the, the, and the South is should be fixed. Do you agree with him? And do you think it is the best situation? Well, drop by the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon and so that you can get notification when I post a new story. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I will see you on the other news. Thank you, and God bless.